Nintendo and Sinopec have come together to build battery exchange stations in China. Sinopec is not an automotive company, but an oil and petrochemical firm owned by the Chinese state. Both the companies have come together and plan to make battery exchange facilities available for everyone. This will benefit NIO, which uses the battery swapping technology to replenish the batteries of its vehicles. NIO has also introduced the second generation of its battery swapping system. NIO Power Swap Station 2.0 has been launched with some very interesting bells and whistles. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We aim to bring you the latest vehicle news. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and or use the timestamps in the description. Neo and Sinopec have made several goals, but the most interesting one is to build 5,000 charging stations and battery exchange stations all over China by the end of 2025. The power battery exchange station has already been set up by them as a result of the collaboration. This power battery swap station has been set up at Sinopec's Chaoying station. The station has been made on the NEO PowerSwap 2.0 technology, which has been introduced by the company very recently. Feedback on this specific power swap station is very crucial to both the companies as it is the first ever station set up by them as a collaborative effort. These two companies consider it to be a major milestone for the development of carbon-neutral technology. It is not only important for the two companies, but also for China's EV industry as well. This will, in turn, motivate other companies and companies to develop green ways of transport that are not only innovative, but environmentally conscious. What is Battery Swap? Battery Swap is a tried and tested way of replenishing EV batteries that NEO uses. Customers who buy a NEO vehicle do not pay for the battery as well, but just get a monthly subscription for it. Other EVs need to get charged by getting plugged in, while NEO vehicles do this differently. NEO vehicles are taken to battery swapping stations where the battery gets replaced with a charged one. It only takes under three minutes to do this. This technique of replenishing batteries was under a lot of skepticism at the start, but NEO proved to the world that it is indeed practical to do on a regular and large scale. NEO calls this service BAAS or Battery as a Service. What's new with Battery Swap 2.0? Battery Swap 2.0 is an updated version of the tried and tested battery swapping technique used by NEO and has been made much more efficient and time-saving than before. A lot of software updates and focus on cloud computing have gone into developing the technology. A huge number of sensors have also been brought into making this new technology, 239 to be exact. Four collaborating cloud computing systems run things in the background. Users will not have to maneuver the cars inside the battery swapping station as Battery Swap 2.0 will be able to do it. The whole process has been made as simple and convenient as it could have been made. Users just have to tap on the screens of the car to begin the battery swap process. NEO has also focused on maximizing the productivity of the Battery Swap 2.0 technology. It can swap up to 312 batteries in a single day. Visual recognition technology has also been infused into all this. At a single time, the power battery swap station can accommodate up to 13 battery swaps. What is Sinopec? Sinopec is a state-owned petroleum and petrochemical enterprise. It is also known as China Petrochemical Corporation. This company was started in July 1998 and was based on the China Petrochemical Corporation that was under the Chinese state at the time. Sinopec has used its vast experience in the field and produced energy solutions for the country. The company has been working on the excavation of fossil fuels and their products. In 2019, Sinopec supplied 200 million tons of possible oil reserves, 102 million tons of proven oil reserve, and 172 million tons of portable oil reserves. Other endless credentials are also part of the company's portfolio. Plans The two companies will benefit from each other's experience and infrastructure. They are planning to make a total of 5,000 power battery swapping stations across China by the year 2025. 
Sinopec already has more than 30,000 fuel refilling stations in China. Their plan for 2021 is to set up 500 power swap stations before the year ends. Benefit to NEO NEO will get a lot of strategic benefits from partnering with Sinopec. Sinopec has way more experience in the Chinese market as compared to NEO. Sinopec also has extensive experience in setting up refilling stations. NEO will utilize the experience held by Sinopec to ramp up the setting of its battery swap and recharging stations. NEO has a lot of experience in producing electric vehicles, but it lacks the experience in getting the legal formalities and infrastructure requirements filled to set up stations. Sinopec has that experience to a very large extent as they have over 30,000 fuel filling stations across China. Benefit to Sinopec Sinopec is a leading petrochemical and oils brand in China which is owned by the Chinese state. It has had huge control and contribution to the power and fuel solutions of China for a very long time. As fossil fuels are going towards becoming obsolete, the market share of Sinopec will get reduced with time. To ensure the adaptation of Sinopec to the changing times, it is just that the company gets into the business of replenishing EV batteries. This way, Sinopec will get the chance to spread its power battery swap network just like it had spread its fuel refilling network up to 30,000 stations. Sinopec will also get to enrich its company portfolio and add electric energy as well. This will also change the perception of the company in the eyes of the general public all around the world. A company once known for the excavation and promotion of fossil fuels will now be known for promoting the shift to electric vehicles. NEO ACES Battery as a Service Model Battery swapping technology has been known to all EV makers for a very long time, but not all of them have dared to make use of it. Even Tesla started to swap batteries for its vehicles, but discontinued due to the complications it faced. However, NEO has done something that was thought to be impossible. The company has aced the battery swapping process and infrastructure. Not only does NEO have over 200 battery swapping stations in China, but now the company has come up with the second generation of the technology. On top of that, the company is also trying to enter the European markets very soon. Ford and NEO Recently, Ford has been partnering with NEO to help the company set up charging stations. The purpose for these would be to give access to the Ford Mach-E once the car is made available in the Chinese market. When the partnership started, it gave rise to the stocks of Ford as well. Now that NEO has partnered with Sinopec, something strange was witnessed. The stock prices of NEO were raised while the stock prices of Ford fell low. Many are speculating that this could mean that the partnership between Ford and NEO has come to a stop. Other Power Updates by NEO NEO has also been working on making other charging options available for its customers. The company has introduced home plug-in charging options. It has also introduced charging stations that charge the car batteries. Valet charging systems have also been introduced in which the company representative takes your car and gets it charged for you. In case your car needs to get charged at some place in an emergency, a power van can come to your location. It's a remote power bank that can add 100 miles of range within 10 minutes. NEO is taking things to the next level by partnering up with Sinopec. They spread the NEO battery swapping network across China at an even faster rate. Sinopec will also get to gain a lot from the collaboration of the two companies. As NEO conquers China by making battery swap available all over the country, its next goal will be to head over to the European countries that are anxiously waiting for NEO to sell its cars there. On May 6th, NEO will give a press conference to explain their global vision and talk about their presence in Norway. Check out their Twitter for updates or come back to our channel as we will report on it afterwards. What are your thoughts on Sinopec and NEO? Will this partnership work out for NEO? Will it be of any benefit to Sinopec in the long term? Or will it end badly for the two companies? We will do our best to keep you updated. All you need to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.